morning. Welcome again and thank you so much for spending time with us every day in our daily devotions. It's so important to read the entire Bible. You see all kinds of things that you didn't know where they were, you've heard them but you didn't know where they were, and you see all kinds of things that help kind of level out all of the, the rough spots or the high spots or the extreme spots and keeps all of your doctrine biblical. I want us to go today to one of my favorite passages in the Bible, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, beginning with verse 9. Paul said, For I am the least of the apostles and do not even deserve to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace to me was not without effect. No, I worked harder than them all, yet not I, but the grace of God that was with me. What a beautiful, beautiful passage. There's two things I want you to see out of there, brothers and sisters, where grace made men and women. We don't deserve anything we have. We, we look at all the accomplishments that God has given us. We look at the blessings that God has given us. We look at the families that God has given us. And forgive me, we know our past. We know where we were when God found us and touched us and changed our lives. We, we don't deserve anything we have. We are grace made men and women. And some of you young people, you've made a lot of mistakes in your life and you think, well, there's no hope for me. Please forgive me. The grace of God is what will give you your destiny. Destiny comes by grace. It doesn't come by works. The promises come by grace. They don't come by works. But Paul said, I want you to notice another thing. His grace to me was not without effect. No, I worked harder than them all. There are some people that take the principles of grace and go, well, it doesn't matter what I do because God's grace will make up for it and God's grace will overrule all of my laziness or whatever. No, it doesn't work like that. Paul said, by the grace of God, I worked harder than them all. So back up today, brothers and sisters, and recognize you have a wonderful future ahead of you by the grace of God. And look around at all the things that God has done for you and all the privileges that God has given you to be involved in and realize we are grace-made men and women.